You are ready. Yeah, I thought about what you said. And I want a full-on relationship, too. So what? I'm just supposed to forget about this last year when you've been stringing me along, and now you're ready? So I just jump on your bike and we ride away? Well, I'm a little saddle sore for riding for three hours. <laughs> Maybe we could hit it fresh tomorrow. I'm sorry, Dan. Oh, come on. Come on, you gotta still feel something for me. It's too late. I moved on. Guess you want these back. Oh, you can keep them. Please don't make me. There's a Band-Aid in here. The Connors is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Okay, okay, I haven't slept in a couple days. Uh, tell me I'm not hallucinating. That is a man racing a bear on an obstacle course, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a show called Man vs. Bear. And they, they do tug of war, they roll barrels up hills, climb trees. Doesn't the bear win most of the time? <laughs> The bear wins every time. It's a bear. I don't think the guy's got a chance unless they introduce Sudoku or driving a car. I think circus bears can drive cars. You can learn anything if your food supply depends on it. <laughs> what are you guys doing? It's one in the morning. <sighs> Beverly Rose is teething and she won't sleep. And you were snoring, so I came downstairs. I don't snore. Oh. Well, and somebody was trimming trees in the bedroom. <laughs> Thanks. Trust me, Darlene, you snore. When we shared a room, I used to put my old makeup sponges in your mouth. That's okay, I used to use your toothbrush. So? To clean the turtle bowl. <laughs> Why didn't you wake me up? I tried. I nudged you, I shook you, I pinched you, I even splashed water on you. Oh, that explains a very weird dream I was having. I was wrestling with a sea otter, and then he threw his martini in my face. <laughs> Woman versus otter. <laughs> that could be a show. Yes. <laughs> and I know where to get an otter. All I need is a distraction and a big towel. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll put a couple pillows under my head so I don't snore. Now come back to bed. Oh, just a few more minutes, because in the last round, they each have to give a cat a bath. This is why we're not getting pregnant, because your sperm's too stupid to find my egg. Ben Bender, if I was to put the salmon down in front of them for the fish eating contest, I think the man really has a chance here. Bear one. Yep. <laughs> Last call. Nuh uh. <laughs> it's only two in the morning. Last call is not till four. It's last call for you. Fine, I'll take three beers and three more shots. You get one beer and one shot. And maybe you should call your wife so she can pick you up. I'm just staying at the hotel next door. My wife's dead. You didn't kill her, did you? <laughs> no. I'm sorry, we're right off the expressway. We gotta ask. I get a beer, please? Hey! You're with the band, aren't you? Yeah. What'd you think of the show? I love Louise. She is the lead singer. Nobody ever loves the keyboard player. Like somebody's loving the keyboard player. I saw Louise kissing you. And I gotta be honest with you, it really bothered me. Oh, you're one of those guys. I know. It looks like she's singing directly to you, but she's just trying to remember the words. 
It's not what you're thinking. This is us. We dated a little back in Lanford. And I didn't have the guts to commit. And then I gave her cheese flowers and really messed things up. Cheese flowers? Is that something like that another guy could catch? No, nothing like that. Look, I just want her back. Do you love her? I don't know. Drunk guy. We've been friends for a long time. And this just happened, and uh, it's got nothing to do with you. Okay. Okay. I get it. Backing off. Beep, beep. beep. <laughs> oh, do me a favor, will you? The next time you see her, tell her that Dan's not afraid to say it. I love you, but her. Not you. I, I love her, not you. It's you talking, but it's me saying it. You'll do that for me, right? No. Oh, come on. What's your name? Zach. Zach? I'd do it for you. Watch. Marla. Zach loves you. <laughs> After midnight, everybody loves me. <laughs> Good luck to you, buddy. Oh, thanks. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I feel like you and I have made a little connection here. <laughs> it may be the beer talking, but I think I love you too. What are all the pills for? They're vitamins to increase my odds of getting pregnant. So you're actually trying now? You know, the world has enough kids. The earth can barely sustain what we've got. What the hell, woman? <laughs> Anne and I want to have a baby together, and it's going to be a really small one, so it's not going to use up a lot of resources. <laughs> and we'll recycle it when we're done. You're being really selfish. Lay off, Harris. Just saying, adopt one, don't drop one. <laughs> Look, I'm 43. I don't even know if I can have a baby, okay? Get off my back. Your old people's sex is destroying the earth. We're not gonna be here that long, so we don't care. Hey, you gotta get dressed for the meeting. We're gonna be late. We gotta leave, like, right now. I'm sorry. I went to bed way too late. Beverly Rose fell asleep in my arms. I didn't want to move and wake her up. Well, you could have given her to Becky. No, oh, I didn't mind. Becky needed a break. You go on ahead, I'll meet you there. But hey, don't forget, I'm coming with you to your doctor's appointment afterwards. Now, you don't need to go to that. I'll fill you in later. Just don't be late for the meeting. We need this guy's advertising dollars. Well, hey, it, it is an adult bookstore, so if you get there before I do, just talk about what a shame it is people don't read anymore. <laughs> There's something wrong with the hot water in the house, and I need a shower real bad because Beverly Rose threw up in my hair. And I tried running it and running it, and no hot water came out. And if I don't get a shower and some sleep, I'm going to eat the baby. Okay. <laughs> Nobody is eating any babies. It is probably just the pilot light. I'll check it. <sighs> yeah, it's the pilot light. This will just take a second. Now we just turn this, hold the button down, and it's out. Oh. All right. So, uh, it's a little more complicated than I thought, uh, but as soon as I get back from the meeting with Darlene, I'll fix it. You said you could fix this. Or are you just talking out of your ass like all men do? I just want a shower. I just want my hair to smell like pretty apples again. Okay, okay. Maybe I can try and fix it right now, okay? Could just be a clogged burner. So, just gotta reach in there. <laughs> wow. Well, that came out way too easy. <laughs> hey, rom com. I heard you rode all the way to Springfield to tell Louise you couldn't live without her. Did you catch her at the airport before she flew to Paris to marry the wrong guy? <laughs> Why are you screaming? Oh, a little hungover from all the celebrating, are we? Well, I guess some people can't hold a case of beer like they used to. Actually, I got drunk with Louisa's new boyfriend. Oh, 